All right, let's delve into the upcoming presidential election in November and discuss your options, which, let's be honest, may not seem too promising at the moment. We've ended up with two candidates who are no spring chickens, so to speak. If age is any indication, they might as well be in the grave already. First up, Donald Trump. He seems fixated on isolating America from the rest of the world. He's openly stated that if Putin wanted to attack a Y, European country that failed to pay, he wouldn't intervene. Well, Mr. Trump, if you want to isolate America, go ahead. Let the people elect you. But as a European born in America, let me tell you this. I'll forge alliances and connections with the rest of the world and leave you in your isolation. And guess what? Once China, North Korea, and Russia, the nations you've developed friendships with, decide to turn their backs on you, they might just create a new America, and the rest of the world will strive for peace without you. But maybe I can be different. Maybe I'll be a philanthropist and help out my fellow Americans. Sure, they haven't always done right by me, but perhaps I can rise above that and make a positive impact. Or maybe I'll be stubborn like you, Mr. Trump, and tell Putin, that long-standing dictator, or my friend Xi Jinping, who I've been helping economically since the early 90s to do whatever they please with America. How does that sound, Mr. Trump? Now, let's address the concerns many have about voting for Trump. Some argue it's suicide, claiming that the American people will face literal obliteration if he's elected. They interpret his words as a warning of a bloodbath if he were to win. Though, to be fair, he may have misspoke and meant to say that his presidency would result in a bloodbath. At the end of the day, it's all political rhetoric and talking heads who often talk out of turn. So, it's up to you, dear audience, to make the decision. Will you vote for Joe Biden, who some argue lacks capability, unless I specifically guide him to make effective decisions such as sending aid to Gaza. You know what needs to be done for America. It's in your hands now. Choose wisely and take action.